Hey gang, Bugzilla here. I just wanted to quote a uh, quick post a video um, on the GGI Phantom. This is actually a Phantom 1. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to uh, to uh, work with the Phantom 2. I would imagine it would. So, uh, let's say you're flying, all of a sudden you get yellow lights, and your Phantom goes home. Uh, hopefully, and if it doesn't fly away. But your Phantom goes home, uh, you get back, you try to turn it on, you turn on your controller and you get the steady flashing yellow light. Go online and you can look all day long and they're gonna say well your controller isn't bound to your receiver so the way to do this you take the top off on a Phantom 1 on a Phantom 2 it's actually there's a little button on the inside on the right side of your battery compartment if you look up you'll see a little tiny button you can actually see it right in here Let's see if I can get this to focus here that little button. Okay, so you turn your phantom on, you power it up, you hold this button in for about three seconds, and it'll go from a solid red to a blinking yellow. Then you turn your controller on, and if it binds, this light will extinguish. If it doesn't, then you've got an issue, you've got another problem. If it binds, um, and everything works and then you're good to go then you don't have to watch any more of this video this is actually for when it binds and you still have nothing you still can't take off there's good news the good news is this receiver um, costs nine dollars on ebay so it's e most likely it's going to be the receiver or the controller and i actually have one of those boards right here um, I think this was 20 bucks, so we're not even at $40 for both of those, which is most likely going to be the issue. Um, so, again, so you, 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 you're already, you, you did the binding trick, and the light went out, and now you have no juice. You still can't take off. I've seen three of these so far that come back. Oh, and by the way, I think I'm going to start doing uh, repairs on these, excuse me, these units, because I could probably do them for 50% of what other people are charging, and I could probably do them same day, you know, get them back out to people, but I'll, I'll get into that later. Anyway, so you replace the, the unit here, I got a little, this is all the bigger it is, and there's your, there's your little button. Uh, so you replace it and it comes with its own little cord and you put the cord on well I'm not sure why but the cord this little plug is usually reversed when it comes from the factory um, I'm not sure if that's because it's from China or uh, you know I, I, don't, I don't really know this one is reversed and then if you remember how you got this one out so now you have it right here and wrong here. The problem with this is if you press this button and you get this you get the uh, the blinking yellow light and you turn on your controller it will bind. However you'll have no control it will not work. So make sure take pictures take a picture of it before you start take a picture of it uh, here and where it goes into your NASA Get the new unit and turn it on, or uh, plug it in. I mean, you know, connect it. Be gentle with it. You know, it's these are it's so small. Uh, plug it in. Turn on your your put out your battery in your machine, and you're going to see a solid red light come up here. Press it. Wait for it to blink. Turn your controller on, and it should extinguish. Now, after you do this. Connect your machine to the NASA software, whichever version you may have. It depends on, on your your uh, your your uh, copter. But um, and then go in, and for for some of them, it's so strange. For some of them, under the RC tab, you need to click. Uh, I think it's P PPM. And the other one is D-Bus. So D-Bus is in the middle. I think it's PPM. I, I, I'm not going to turn the computer on right now and find this out. But the middle one is D-Bus. 
the left one is tradition and the right one I think it's PPM. So for the older phantoms as soon as you hit PPM you're going to see all your all of your uh your um green lights, you know, for your your uh calibration, they're going to come back. If if this is bad, you're going to see all of your calibration settings are going to be all the way to the right and black. They're not going to be green. So if you get this right, and you change it to D-Bus or PPM, like I said, depending on what your yours is, you're going to have to play with that. Um, it should come back. If it's not this, then it's this, and you go through the same procedure, and it's a piece of cake. So hopefully this helps some people out. Like I said, I've seen I've seen a couple of these come back, and the problem was that they, they replaced the receiver, which was bad, but the wiring was, was backwards. As a matter of fact, if you take this plug... And it'll fit on the other side right here. It'll fit in any one of these slots. The red light will come on, and you can press the button, and it will sync with the controller. But again, it's not going to work. You're in the wrong spot of the NASA. So just make sure that you take a picture, and you remember where you took it out of, and where you're going to put it in, and do it the exact same way, and you should be good to go. I hope this helps people. Um, any questions or comments, put them in the comment bar. Thank you.